Good afternoon, everybody. It's afternoon for us. We are taking a little midday stroll on the boat. We got the baby on the boat. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. We are going to attempt, and I say attempt because it's such a nice day, that it could be full of boats when we get there, but we're gonna try. We're gonna head on over to Boca Chita Key, which is, I don't know if you, we made another video uh, about Boca Chita back in like October, November, but it's really like eight miles from our coast here, east from Black Point Marina where we launched the boat. And it's just a beautiful little island. And we're gonna spend the, spend the rest of the day there, go to the beach, walk around the nature trails, take some pictures, and uh, let the baby enjoy uh, a little half day on the boat. So we're gonna get out of the channel, get on plane, and bring you guys along. Alright guys, so when you come across, if you could see over here, that's where Black Point Marina is. And then you come across the bay here, like I said, it's probably an 8 mile run because um, we have to go through the intercoastal. There's a big shallow bank right here, but you're going to come in right through this channel, past the beautiful lighthouse that Mr. Honeywell built, and you're going to come right in to this beautiful basin right here where you could dock your boat and spend the day here on the island. So we're gonna walk around and uh, give you a quick tour of the whole place. The island has this beautiful little shelter right here with tables. And when you come out here, you could cook, you can have your family meal out here. And there's barbecues on the other side of the island when you're going towards the beach. We'll walk over there and show you those, but this is a nice little shelter right here where you could sit down and eat and it overlooks the beautiful Biscayne Bay. All right, so we're gonna walk through the trail and this wall here is actually an original structure of when the uh, Honeywells had the island and they built it from back in the 1900s. Uh, sound like my kids. They always ask me in the 1900s when I went to school, did, did we have cars and school buses? Or, uh, or did we have to go on a horse in the 1900s? You know, back in the 80s and 90s. So this is one of the nature trails that you can walk here on the island. It's pretty cool, it goes right along the edge of the water. And, it goes all the way around back to the other side. And today it's, you know, we're here. It's a lot of boats, but if you were to come out here during the week, you could be out here all by yourself. We, uh, my wife and I stayed out here one time <clears throat> for a week camping and uh, we were the only ones out here the entire week it was beautiful had a lot of fun there's a beach here I'll show you guys on the other side this little bridge here is new But just super relaxing to come out here, walk on these little trails. Look at all the fish in the water. It's just a beautiful little hike to walk and do with your family. And it is, like I said, it's right off the coast. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but those, that's the coastline right there, the mainland of Miami. You 
can see the little trail, how close it is there to the water. I don't know how close this gets. There's another beach on the other side of the island here in between Boca Chita and Sands Key, which is the next island right next to this. Very popular spot. It's a really nice sandbar, that other island. No, the key, I should say. It's a small, keys are smaller than islands. Here, you could start to see that Sands Key right there, and then Elliot Key. It's another very, very popular hot spot here on the weekends where everybody goes to the sandbar. And then this is the channel right here in between both of them. Mm. Here we go. This is a little hidden beach on the trail. Right out there is the Atlantic Ocean. And then over here is Biscayne Bay. Look at this nice little private little area right here on the trail that you could come to. So if you walk the trail, keep going, go over the little bridge, and you can come out to this nice little private beach out here. All right, let's keep walking. Trail's getting a little spooky now. <laughs> So now we're crossing over to the east side of the island. So this side of the island is the side of the island that faces the Atlantic Ocean. What was that? I heard a noise. This has got to be a hoot to do at night. And so the really cool thing is that this little slice of paradise is right here, right off of our coast. We're so lucky to have this. A lot of people don't even know that this is here. Come to Miami, you can book a charter. We do charters, we bring people out here. The Biscayne National Park Service also does trips and they bring people out here. But uh, very nice little, little spot to come. When we get back off the trail and we get back to the main part of the island, there's a beautiful scenery for pictures. A lot of people come out here, do wedding pictures. We, uh, we did some of our wedding pictures out here with the kids when, uh, when I got married. Just a really nice place. Oh, there's the clearing. We are coming to the other side. We're coming back to the opening here. This is the main part that's all cleared out of the island where everybody can go camping and barbecuing. This here is one of the original structures also when the Honeywells owned the island. The island now is part of Florida's Biscayne National Park and they keep all their mowers and all the stuff to do maintenance and all the machinery they keep it in that building now but see now the trail has taken us all the way around that other side of the island and we're back here you can see the basin up there where all the boats dock And I am going to walk up there 
get my family because there's no way they're gonna, they were able to bring the baby over that bridge with the steps. Then we'll walk you around, take you to the lighthouse over there, and we'll take you to the beach that is right over there on that side. That's the one that everybody goes to. Most people don't know about that little private one on the trail. All right, so I went back to the boat and they're not there. I just saw them walk out of the end of the trail. But once you dock here, guys, if you wanna camp here, you actually can camp. You do have to pay though. And you come over here to this little registration building and have a pay station here where you can you can scan the barcode there and pay by phone and you'll enter the FL numbers of the boat. Now you keep walking up the trail and that little building right there is pretty cool. There's restrooms in there. There's salt water, They're flush with salt water, but you at least have toilets that you can go to the bathroom there. And look who we meet up with here. They made it through the trail. They made it through the trail. Baby girl, you like the trail? Did you see the secret beach? So this is the restroom area right here. And then we're gonna walk over and show you the beach. All right, we're done in the restrooms. My family made it through the trail. Adi, what do you got in your hood? Garbage? Say hi. <laughs> Camera shy. All right, now let's walk over to the beach. Just beyond the restrooms. You get to come to the beach. And we spent the whole day out here already. Swimming, snorkeling, baby got in the water. But this side here is a little bit bigger beach than the other side. <clears throat> And again, out there, this is now the Atlantic Ocean side. And we've got this little beach right here that we came to this morning. Well, morning, probably 11, 11.30 when we got here. The tide's going down right now, but this whole little section right here is a nice little beach. You see the water's pretty shallow. Kids could play out here, swim. Then if you do decide that you want to cook out here, just right out the beach right here, you have all the public barbecues and the tables right here. And you can see beyond that is the basin where all the boats are tied off. So it's a really short walk to get out here to the beach once you come onto the island and you dock. And you could use all of these grills and these picnic tables here. And then this is the side here where you can pitch your tents and camp here as well so if you stay the weekend you could come out here get yourself a little nice section next to a barbecue a table and you're right there you're next to the beach and this whole area out here is where you can pitch your tents and and this gets pretty packed on the weekends but if you, like I said, if you come out here during the week, Tuesday, Wednesday, you will be by yourself on this island. Chances are you won't see anybody else around you. Then if you come over here, you could see downtown Miami off in the distance there. I don't know if the camera will be able to pick it up. I could try to zoom in when I'm editing and see if it'll pick it up, but there we go, all of downtown Miami over there. And then if you continue this way, and so there's a walkway, guys, when you dock, our boat's back there, you can walk all the way around to the lighthouse, which is one of the places that everybody likes to come and take pictures. And if you're out here at sunset, you get a beautiful sunset right over the mainland of Miami. It's very, very nice. If you wanna come camping out here, really good time to do it is in the winter time. You know, we're probably somewhere around 60, anywhere from 50 to 70 degrees in the winter time. 
so it is very very comfortable you might need to be in a hoodie at night some of my northern viewers probably laugh at us but yes when it gets down into the 50s we're wearing gloves and beanie hats so now we're all the way on the other side of the island and I'll show you now when we get beyond these boats here by the lighthouse where we started the video for you guys to see get an idea here but you see a lot of these boats today's actually a Friday so when we have these really nice weekends like this a lot of boats will come out on Friday to secure their spot and then they'll stay here all weekend long camping and playing dominoes and swimming in the beach they go fishing during the day and then come back and cook their catch here on the island while they're camping so this here is the lighthouse and this is just for decorative purposes because the lighthouse is on the west side of the island so facing Biscayne Bay so the Honeywells just built this for pretty so that their friends they used to do a lot of big parties out here and they would come in through the basin right here and this was their private island and they would dock and this is where we started if you remember the house that I was talking about you can see some people under there eating and then where we started the walking trail was right over here on this side and then went all the way around the island and came out over there by the restrooms and this is the beautiful view that you have here this cannon was actually a working cannon and they used to fire this cannon when they were doing their parties and their friends would come and they used this island a lot just to hang out I guess if you could own an island like this you uh, could just have private parties here and then this is where you have the beautiful sunset right here over the mainland of Miami just really really beautiful backdrops for pictures all along the island say hi to the camera there you go finally you're saying hi guys thank you for watching thank you for coming along on our family fun day here at Boca Chita. if you want to see some of our fishing adventure videos check out this playlist thank you for watching and we'll catch you on the next one